New data shows a dramatic rise in Coloradans seeking mental health resources amid the pandemic. Now both advocates and state leaders are making it their mission to increase awareness this May for Mental Health Month. Cardio News Channel 13 is live in our newsroom to explain. Jen. Other mental health advocates like the reigning Miss Fort Carson tell me it's time to stop the stigma. It's why she and others with the state are pushing for more affordable access to resources. Mara Spence Carroll has struggled with ADHD, anxiety and depression all her life. I grew up thinking that I was just really disorganized and that I had a hard time in school and that, you know, sometimes people just get sad. The active duty soldier and reigning Miss Fort Carson says it wasn't until she turned 20 and joined the military that she knew she needed to seek help. Growing up, we didn't have the kind of money for that kind of thing. We, you know, sometimes I was able to go to counseling, but it wasn't until my sister passed away that we made it a little bit more of a priority. According to state leaders, lack of access to affordable mental health services is a growing issue in Colorado as the number of people in need rose during the pandemic. Calls and texts to the Colorado Crisis Services, our state behavioral health crisis line, has steadily climbed over the last year. Overall, they've been up about 32% during the pandemic. It's why organizations like Mental Health Colorado are working with state lawmakers to create better resources like free mental health services for kids returning to the classroom. If we're going to mobilize our efforts and resources to do something sensible for the long term health of the population, here's your cohort, here's your target population. But advocates like Mara say, most importantly, people need to know they're not alone. I remember being in that exact position because, like I said, I've had this my entire life. I've always been ADHD. And so to any kids out there who might be scared or not know who to talk to, you can always talk to a good teacher, your favorite teacher, I promise they're going to be willing to listen. And mental health experts say some of the coping mechanisms we actually used early on in the pandemic, like Zoom or phone calls with loved ones, can still be a big help right now. We've also put some other state resources on Cardio.com, including a 24-hour phone line. In the newsroom, Jen Moynihan, Cardio News Channel 13.